welcome to the center of the karting universe. This is South Garda Karting Lonato for the first round of the WSK Final Cup for 2018. It's a three round series for this season from here, Castelletto and then Adria on November 25. As you can see, the junior karts are on the grid at the moment. We've got down to the final four grids. It's been an action-packed weekend with 259 drivers. Let's take a quick look at what has happened so far this week at Lonato. This is the paddock. This is the circuit. This is South Garda Karting. Four categories. And in the mini class 60cc, it was all about one boy from the other side of the Atlantic. The Jamaican sensation, unstoppable in the 60cc mini category. It was Brando Badawea who was the fastest qualifier though. It was Powell who took four heat wins from four starts. 95 drivers in the mini class, including this boy on screen, Dmitry Matvev from Siberia in Russia. There is Luca Badawea, the former F1 driver himself and his boy, Brundle has been absolutely brilliant so far. In the junior category, James Wharton on debut with the Ricky Flynn Motorsport class. The best qualified after the heats. Not long into the junior category. Speaking of new into the junior category, Kimi Antonelli and Martina Stensone from Italy and Norway have been a revelation on their debut, their first race in the junior class. Taylor Barnard. Marcus Aman, Enzo Truly, also certainly in contention for the win here at Lonato in this, the first round. Enzo, who took a win here at the Marguti Trophy at this circuit to start the season in the CRG. Antonelli, how impressive is this kid a week after racing in minis? In the OK class, there is just one name, the reigning world champion, Lorenzo Travisonuto. Fastest qualifier by some two tenths, winner of all his heats. Certainly the driver to beat after a pre-final win again this morning. His teammate 202, Dexter Patterson, taking the fight up to the Italian, as is the Dane Nitro Nicholas Nielsen in the RS cart. The team from Germany, Coluccio, also in contention for a win here. Griggs, another driver to make a debut in the OK category. In KZ, it was Anthony Abbas who won Down Under in Australia just a week ago. Fastest qualifier on Friday night, but it was his teammate. Bass is back. Lemmers with the heat wins, the pre-final win to start on pole for the final this afternoon. The three-time world champion, Marco Ardigo, on his home circuit and winner of the Supermaster Series to start the season. The scene is set. This is Lonato, South Garda Karting, and we're just a few minutes away from our first four finals here this afternoon, starting with the junior category. And in those highlights, you got a glimpse of young Enzo Trulli. We spoke to his father, the winner of the Monaco Formula One Grand Prix, the two-time world champion, Jano, who's done many laps himself at this very circuit. Jano Trulli spoke to us here at Lonato. basically the beginning with a uh, father and son going on track and uh, enjoying themselves uh, with a machine which is uh, just like a car uh, but small easy to let's say to handle and uh, at the beginning should be only a game you know and uh, a way to spend some time together with the family uh, it's definitely difficult because uh, I'm, not, I'm not only a father but as well uh, an ex uh, driver so I know exactly what's going on and uh, you know it's never easy I think also for uh, for my son, uh, not only for me. But anyway, I try to deal, deal with it. <laughs> well, as usual, uh, motorsport has been, uh, you know, a very expensive sport, and so not accessible for everyone. Uh, it became even uh, more expensive now, more difficult, uh, more competitive. So it, it's very, very difficult. Uh, you know, I can't say which is the right path. For sure, karting is uh, the basic. Sorry, but. Um, 
it's very, very difficult. Uh, unless someone helps you, you know, to go through, it's almost impossible to make it to the top. World Kart Racing Champion Jano Trulli from 1991. Way back at Le Mans more than a quarter of a century ago. Still a little strange to see Jano in the CRG Racing Team outlet outfit after so many years of success aboard the Tony car. His boy, Enzo Trulli, has been in fine form, but starts back on the 11th row of the group for the OK Junior Final in just a few moments. The carts are out on the circuit. It's a dry circuit. We've had beautiful northern Italian weather here in the autumn. A little bit overcast today, but still, just, as you can see, 16 degrees, a little bit shy of our top of 20 degrees. Actually got to 23 degrees in the last few days. Beautiful weather. Can you remember the snow here at Lonato back in February. We were knee deep in the white stuff. It was minus seven degrees. Nothing like that today. It's a beautiful afternoon. The autumn of Northern Italy and a few moments away from the start. Oh, okay, Junior. These are the carts on the grid and look at that. The independent Republic of Go-Karts. That is of Dino Chiesa. Oh, they dominate the front row of the grid with the Brit, Taylor Barnard from Cromer on the east coast of England on pole position to the right of your screen. The Finn Marcus Amant, he's been super impressive, did take a heat win and obviously a pre-final win as well. On the outside of the front row of the grid, Kai Aski, the first of the Ricky Flynn Motorsport contingent. Out of grid number three, unfortunately, his teammate James Wharton, who was classified first after the heats, was turned around two laps from the chequered flag in the pre-final and will not take the start. Nikita Bedrin, fastest qualifier on Friday night, the 316. There is Nikita from Russia in the green machine from Group 4. The tension is building. This is a 17 lap final. This is Lenato. This is absolutely awesome. The grandstand filling here at this legendary circuit built by the Corberi family back in 1988. And we're ready to push these OK Junior carts into life here at Lenato. It's a three-round series for 2018. The big news overnight, the 2019 calendar has been announced. And the WSK Euro Series is back in 2019. Sarno, Napoli, Southern Italy, Zwera in Spain, Wackersdorf in Germany. And right here for the season closer, June 23, 2019. We are ready for the first of our four finals. This is the juniors, and here is the grid. Barnard, Aman, Kayaski, Nikita Bedrin, Kotecha, Kirill Small, Antonelli on his debut in juniors, Gabriel Mini, the vice world champion from a few weeks ago, Norton Andreasen and Paolo Gallo in the Kali Kart. Jakob Bergmeister, Thomas Tembrinke, Martini Sensone also on debut in the junior class alongside Maya Veg, who won the final cup two years ago in minis. Lawrence Van Hoppen, William Silverholm, and the boy from Brazil, Rafael Camara. There is Enzo Truly. We spoke to his father, Yano, just a few moments ago, out of group number 21. Alex Dunn from group 29 for Forza Racing. Delano Bantoff also, his teammate, have got the speed, but they have to do it from here on the back of the grid. The very final row is the Welshman, Matthew Rees, for Ricky Flynn Motorsport. What a sight this is. That famous grandstand in the background that can be seen from the highway over the paddocks here, south of the city of Desenzano on the southern shores of Lago di Garda. There is Barnard for Team Rosberg, Dino Chiesa, Cart Republic. A man with the Finnish flag on his helmet. We are ready to race if we do get a green. Under the control of our race director, Mr. Alessandro Ferrari. As they come up to the line and we do get a start. Barnard immediately first. A man from second back to fifth in the first corner. Good start by Contecha. But it looks as though he's almost been watched by Kirill Small, who himself has lost time. Also Bedrin. So the Ricky Flynn Motorsport team driver, that is Kai Aski, he's the first of the British team's charges. He's in second. Barnard, his countryman, first. 
the Union Jacks dominate the timing screens on this, the first lap of the OK Junior Final here at South Garda Karting. A good, clean start here first time round. We'll check the order as they come across the line for the first time. You can see the British driver for the Italian team, Barnard Denizaski. Contentia, Antonelli's made a superb start. Remember, he is the teammate to Taylor Barnard. And I hate to tell you this, we spoke to Enzo Trulli's father. Enzo himself is out of this on the very first lap. Bedron and Small, the Russians in fifth and sixth. Then it's Gabriel Mini, Amar Sensone, North and Andreasen in another Cut Republic chassis, rounds out the 10. A good clean start. And Barnard already with three or four tenths of a second lead over Kayaski. Bet the Brit will fight back though. Down the inside goes Antonelli, his first junior race. And it's the Team Rossberg cards one and three. Gabriel Mini puts his arm, hand in the air. Indeed, the race has been neutralized with an incident further back in the field involving Andre Sivnov. Also, Christians and Matthew Rees off screen. That happened behind play. Just as Antonelli made the move. You can see the assistant race director, Mr. Marco Carlino, on the circuit, standing on the bitumen. There is the aftermath. And what a mess. It's like downtown Times Square, New York, with carts scattered at the exit of the turn five hairpin. We'll pick up exactly who that has involved. Oh, it's a huge crash, in fact. Stenson is involved. We're down to 20 still circulating. Let's read them off. The ones who haven't come around, they are being attended to by the medical team. For the moment, they look to be okay. Stensone, Andreasen out. Paolo Gallo, Maya Vegg also involved as is Silverholm. Delano Vato, Capietro Resico, Teresini Conrad Lawson, Jenna Deze, Gregor Zhivnov. And Enzo truly didn't actually make the start finish line. Oh, a sensation. We're down to 20 cards. The race has been neutralized. A huge crash at the end of the turn five hairpin. Right where the leader, Taylor Barnard, is coming up to now, trying to keep heat into those Vega tires. This is lap number four, three completed, off 17. The last runner, you can see, is Fabio Rawa, 356, the RS card from Germany. Team from Germany, the driver also, they're clearing the circuit, and the driver's being attended to in a crash that has taken out 13 drivers. Fortunately, it was at one of the slower parts of the circuit as Fabio goes through. Wow. So Taylor Barnard is the race leader. And we continue under yellow. There is Alessandro Ferrari, the race director, officiating or competing in his 900 and 74 place event. Alessandro, who started out in motorsport way back in 1978, very well respected figure. He's got this scene under control. You just see Matthew Rees going through. He actually did manage to keep it going despite being involved in that accident off screen. We're down to 20 drivers, just repeating Stensorne, Andreasen, Gallo. Maya, Silverholm, Delano Panto, Capietto, Resico, Tresini, Lawson, Cenedese, Gregor, Zhivnov, all involved in that and truly did not even make the start. Barnard, the race leader, Kwiaski also from England, in position number two as we go back, racing green, the Brits first and second, Team Rosberg, first and third. In the Ricky Flynn Motorsport car dives down the inside. That wasn't a move on Barnard, it was more defensive on the young Italian from Bologna, the city that is home to Lamborghini, famous for the dish that doesn't actually exist in Bologna, of course, spaghetti bolognese, which he eats regularly, but they tell me it's not a dish from where we come from. Nevertheless, Kimmy 
absolutely starring on his debut in juniors. Team Rossberg now run one and two. Kayaski has been forced back to third place. Andre Akimi Antonelli dives down the inside to go into second place. Mini does the same on Contecha, but loses out on the exit. The Colombian runs in B5. Taylor Barnard walking away with this one. Look at that, Team Rossberg. Dino Chiesa cut Republic one and two. Then it's the reigning junior European champions. Kai Aski with Ricky Flynn Motorsport in third spot. Nikki the Bethlehem, the fastest qualifier on Friday night in the Tony Kart Racing Team entry. There is Nikita, back to Contecha. Mini, the Sicilian, the reigning vice junior world champion. Second at Kristianstad in Sweden. Just a few weeks ago, position six, as the response comes immediately from the Brit. Kai back into second place. Barnard, the lead, one second. As Kai sets the fastest lap, the response from Antonelli. Will he put it down the inside? Watch into the turn five hairpin. Barnard doesn't even know where they are. Down the inside, Andre Antonelli goes through, but around the outside, oh, Nikita Bedrin, the ruthless racing Russian, rounds up both of them. Just awesome from Nikita. Fastest qualifier on Friday night. Can he take the challenge up to Taylor Barnard? Kirill Small also makes the move, fighting there with Contecha and Bedrin. Side by side, Kayaski's losing time. The gap last time was a second between Barnard and Aski. Now it is 1.3 between Barnard and Bedrin. Kayaski has fallen down to P5. He had a massive engine seize in free practice. He put the video on his Instagram page and it's already been viewed thousands of times. He's got it running sweetly now for Ricky Flynn Motorsport, P5, ahead of his Dutch teammate, Thomas Tambrinke, who had a heat win. Yesterday's come from grid number 12. But there is Antonelli. Andrea, the Italian in P3. One week ago, he raced at this circuit in the mini category at the Rock Cup International Final. Seven days later, or eight to be precise, he stepped up to the junior category, a jump of about 15 to 18 horsepower, and he runs in P2 out of the 81 drivers that entered the first round of this, the WSK Final Cup for 2018. Kirill Small's right there behind him. Then comes the freight train, Tembrinke, Aske, Lorenz van Hoppen, Bürgermeister, Jakob in P8. That's a great start from the German. The red car with the blue helmet. You cannot miss the RS machine ahead of Contecha. Gabriel Mini, Gravelin. How about Alex Dunn? Sure, the Irishman did benefit from that first lap crash. But from the back of the grid, Alex gets the job done. He's made up 17 places. The Forza are racing. He's in P12. Not far off a top 10 finish. Mini goes through. Timbrinke falls down the order that time round. Been taken by Severukin, Bergermeister, Artamanov, Fatim Komarov, the Russian. And speaking of Russians, there is Kirill Small. In P4 for Ward Racing. Will he put it down the inside of Andrea? Tight line from the Kart Republic. It's got grip like Homer Simpson driving the monorail. Incredible is the KR machine. Bedrin still holding second place, albeit only just. There's a problem for Lorenz van Hoppen. The Dutchman from 10th looks to be the next retirement from this race. Kirill Small goes down the inside to step up onto the podium. There's the race leader. He's disappearing down the road with an advantage of 1.7 seconds as the Sicilian Gabriel Mini in the Paralin. Position six, there he is. It's the fastest lap of the race of 48.183. Bedrin holds P2 from his countrymen. Small, then it's Antonelli. The British challenge is now first with Barnard, fifth with Aske, and Matthew Rees, the Welshman, up inside the top 10. The RFM team driver is ninth, one spot ahead of Nikita Artamanov.
as Small goes down the inside. The Russians side by side. The Ward Racing Green Machine against the factory outfit. Again, they drag race. Oh, this is spectacular. Here at Lenato, Kira Small. Nikita Bandanen. Andre Akimi Antonelli back to beat four. Meanwhile, Andre, his teammate, is walking away with this. 2.3 seconds down the road as Antonelli dives down the inside to go P3. Nicely done by Andrea. Back in P5, Kayaski starting to recover. He's getting a sniff. He can see the battle in front of him. And the driver who grew up doing most of his racing in Singapore is not far off the podium. Again, they trade positions. Antonelli in fourth spot behind Veteran. Then Small goes defensive. You get the run on the exit. There's Mini going through. We go back to Gravelin. Alex Dunn now up into position number eight. Look at the gap, 2.6 seconds. Veteran a little bit defensive. The Italian from Bologna breathing down his neck. He looks behind him, part of the Antonelli Motorsport family. What a future he's already got in store for himself. Under the tutelage of Dino Chiesa, the legends that he's taken to the top of the podium over the years. Rosberg, Manetti, Pantano, to name just a few. And now they've got a star in Antonelli. Not to mention his teammate, give him credit. It's just that he's so far down the road, they don't even know which way he's gone. Taylor Barnard, 2.8 seconds as Mini throws down a 47.9. He's the only driver under 48 seconds. There's the Sicilian, the white helmet from Bassano del Grappa, north of Venice, Team Parolin, the fastest driver on the track. The reigning vice junior world champion. Can he get up onto the podium? There is Gabriele, right behind Kayaski, Antonelli, and then the two ruthless racing Russians, Small and Bedron, run two and three. Small goes defensive, it'll cost him on the exit. There's Aski, Minis come to play. Down the inside goes the Italian. Awesome stuff, takes his countryman. Antonelli slides back to P6 on his debut in juniors. The Russians go wheel to wheel. This is the second to last lap. Barnard will surely win. His lead is more than three seconds. They don't know which way he went. Small goes defensive. Kayaski, the brick goes sideways. Oh, he almost threw it all away right there and then did Kai. Mini all over the back of the Brit. Antonelli for the moment is out of it. This is awesome stuff. The WSK Final Cup here at Lonato. Kirill Small, veteran, Mini goes P4. He's come from 50 meters back. He's one spot off the podium. The final lap here at Lonato, 4.3 seconds. Barnard is not even on your screen. Small looks behind. Petron is still right there. Down the inside. Oh, what a move by the Sicilian. Mini takes the both of them. But he loses out on the exit. Petron in second takes the white line. Comes down the hill. Taylor Barnard, Team Rosberg from Cromer on the east coast of England. Just a few corners to go. What a drive. As we look at the battle for second and third, the checkered flag comes out. It's the Englishman, Taylor Barnard, who wins the final cup here in Italy. Across the line, veteran second, the Russian. Can you believe the drive from Gabriele Mini? The Sicilian, P3, with an outstanding performance. The head of Aske, small, Antonelli done from the back of the grid. Yes, he did benefit from that incident. But that was a spectacular drive. As we take a look at the highlights, Barnard from pole position led off the start. And that was about as close as they got to the English driver. Marcus Amand was in contention earlier. And then there was that big crash that eliminated one third of the field. A brilliant dice for second place. But while they did that, Taylor Barnard 
he said. I'll see you at the finish line, chaps. The Englishman setting, I have to tell you this, as we look at the highlights, a 47.827 on the final lap of the race, the fastest lap of the race for Taylor Barnard. Small down the inside. The Russians went side by side. This was awesome. Antonelli also, second of the team, Rosberg, Cart Republic, Dino Chiesa, of course, Team Guts. The Russians side by side, Small went defensive, and that is probably what cost him. He can finish in P5, that is good points for the championship. And Gabriel Mini from so far down the road, they didn't even know he would be playing from sixth to fifth. The Sicilian to fourth. And on the very last lap, he got up onto the podium. Barnard, congratulations. The driver from England, it is the Union Jack on the highest step of the podium. Nikita Vedran, fastest qualifier on Friday night, second. And Gabriel Mini, the Sicilian, a stirring drive to go P3. There's the result. Aske just misses the podium. Three Union Jacks in the top 10. Small, Antonelli, Dunn, the Irishman, Gravelin, Nikita Artamanov, and Matthew Rees rounds out the 10. Podium presentations right here at Lanato in just a moment. A sensational start to this three round series for 2018. This is the WSK Final Cup. You've just seen the junior final and the podium presentation in just a moment. start the afternoon here at the WSK Final Cup. We're just waiting for the drivers to make their way up from Park Ferme. Unofficially, Gabriela Mini third. Nikita Bedrin from Russia. P2. And how about the Brit? Taylor Barnard, just brilliant taking the first win of the series for 2018. From here, three weeks time, Castelletto di Branduzzo, south of Milan. And it will be the Brit, Taylor Barnard, who takes the series lead into round two of the third round series. The drivers are coming, here comes Gabriel Mini, the Sicilian. What a drive for Team Paralin. The Sicilian for the Veneto team. Here's Nikita Bedrin and the race winner, Taylor Barnard. The Vega Caps about to go on these three drivers. A brilliant start to the afternoon. The drivers making their way up to the podium. This was just an awesome race for OKJ. Gabriele, Nikita and Taylor Barnard. Okay, Junior, the first final here this afternoon. A storming drive in position number three, Gabriela Mini.
fastest qualifier on Friday night, second place for the Tony Cart Racing Team, Nikita Bedrin. A brilliant try from the east coast of England from pole position for Team Rockford Chiesa Corp. The winner of round one, this is Taylor Barnard. The girls too present the trophies, the third place trophy to Gabriel Mini of Italy. Second place, Nikita Bedrin of Russia. And the winner, Taylor Barnard of England. As we stand by for the national anthem of Great Britain. God save the Queen, God save the rest of the junior drivers because after that performance, Taylor Barnard looks all but uncatchable. He wins round one of the WSK Final Cup. Congratulations also to Nikita Bedrin second and Gabriel Mini third here this afternoon on the podium. The WSK Final Cup right here at South Garda Karting. That is the podium, a sensational scene. What a great race that was. Just a few moments. The age gets even lower with the 60cc mini drivers. They are on the grid as we get ready for the second final of the afternoon. How good was that? Taylor Barnard taking the win and takes the series lead into Castelletto di Branduzzo. Still a few moments before the start. Still a few moments away from the start. We start. 